Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and this is how to use your Android phone as a webcam for your computer. So I'm going to be using a Windows computer for this demonstration. I believe you can do this for Mac as well, but I have a Windows computer, so that's what I'm going to be using it on. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously an Android phone, and then I prefer using a USB cable because it's more reliable, and it also charges the phone while you're using it as a webcam. Uh, you can also use this wirelessly, but I'll show you how to use it with a wire because this is the configuration I think most people would prefer anyways. I always suggest building yourself a custom PC, but if you're not confident in your PC building skills or you just want my autograph or me to make videos on your system, check out my new company, Specify. All our builds are cable managed, stress tested, and shipped with insurance in the contiguous US. Check out the website specify.tech, that's not .com, and choose a pre-configured option or you specify the specs, we'll build it. This segment is sponsored by Specify, which is my own company, so I'm sponsoring myself. Whatever, I'll just cut to the chase. Click the link in the description. By the way, look at this website. I took all the photos, so I take a ton of pride in that. It just looks so clean, like holy fuck. So I'm gonna use DroidCam for this demonstration and I downloaded the DroidCam X version which is basically the premium version where you just get to customize the webcam features such as zooming in, rotating, and mirroring the image for the webcam. So the first thing you have to do is get your USB cable and plug it into a USB port at the back of your computer or laptop and then go into USB settings for the Android phone and change it to PTP. The next thing you want to do is to connect USB debugging in the developer settings. There are more specific instructions on how to do this when you download the app. So when you use your Android phone as the webcam, you're gonna have to leave the DroidCam app open at all times while using it as a webcam. Then you wanna open a web browser on your computer and download the DroidCam app onto your computer. And this will show you instructions on just how to do this. So you open up the app and select your phone through USB since I'm connecting through a USB cable. And once you locate your phone, you can enable video and audio. I just prefer to use video and then use my own USB mic for audio, but you can use your phone for both video and audio. Then once you've located your phone, you can click start and there you go, you can use your Android phone as a webcam. So if your video happens to be inverted or just at a weird angle, you can download the DroidCam X app, which is basically a premium version for $4.99 on the Google Play Store. And it is a little bit expensive. And I just used my Google Opinion Rewards money just to purchase that app, so it wasn't really a big deal for me. But I purchased it and my video was inverted so I could just easily like flip it around and zoom in or zoom out if I wanted to. And that's pretty much how I use uh, my Android phone as a webcam. With this, I've used my OnePlus 8 as a webcam for Zoom, so you can use it for Zoom calls. And I've tried using this in Streamlabs OBS, so you can use this for streaming as well. So this literally just makes your Android phone into a webcam, and it works really well, surprisingly. So I've never really used a dedicated webcam for my computer, but I can tell you that most smartphones will likely produce a better video output than if you just used a webcam. So I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you liked it, please like this video and subscribe to support my channel. I'm really close to 10,000 subscribers as I'm making this video, and I hope to get to 100,000 really soon so I can get that silver plate button plaque from YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and also if you want to check out any links to the DroidCam app for the Play Store or for downloading on your computer, I'll link them in the description down below. And also if you want to check out the OnePlus 8, I'll link that in the description below as well with an affiliate link from Amazon so I do earn a tiny bit of commission from it, but it does not come at an additional cost to you.